Good morning. It's time for a Simmers Morning Skate. Rob Simpson with you for SeattleHockeyInsider.com. And, of course, Dave Tomlinson is the color commentating voice of Seattle Kraken Radio. What's up, Tommy boy? Well, not much. Good to see you. Good to talk hockey. Good to talk about a potential clinching scenario for the Seattle Kraken. Yes, potential. I like that. We're both old school hockey guys, so you never say when. You never assume anything. It's always if. Right up until the last moment, but... Boy, Arizona stunk three days ago. Yeah. So this is a pretty damn good opportunity for Seattle. It is. I mean, they'll have another opportunity on Saturday playing Chicago, a team that's uh, not going to make the playoffs. And if you turn the standings upside down, they're on the top. But right, right now they're not. <laughs> they're 32nd. And then they'll play Arizona again another time. But I, I was talking with some of the players just a little bit earlier. I, I came to the rink this morning feeling excited, ready yeah. to go, you know, call a, a, a potential clinching game. And the players feel the same way, too. Like, they yeah. know what's at stake. And they know what Arizona was. They yeah. played them on Monday. Arizona's been in Seattle. They went to the baseball game on Tuesday. Probably had a couple of pops. Who knows? Yeah. But um, if the Kraken play what they've been their, their style, their yeah. forechecking style, yeah. you know, raise the tempo, not too many teams can uh, keep up with them. So things are trending in the right direction. Uh, I was chatting with Ryan Donato and just talking about that, you know, we, we've talked about the balance and the depth to death. Yeah. But he brought up, we brought up the fact that, you know, he took a couple took a couple for the team in that last game, just punches to the face, that type of thing. And he was talking about, you know what, hey, in that moment, you can't take the two and put your team down. So yeah. you just have to suck it up, take a little punishment, get through it. And I think you're going to maybe see a little bit of that again tonight because Coyotes have nothing but frustration to offer at this point. Yeah, and that game, you know, games like that. And I was on the other side of that when I played in the NHL with the Winnipeg Jets, our team uh, was going to miss the playoffs. And you, so you go into every game thinking, okay, we want to get a win. And then when the st- score gets uh, extended against you, you want to hit somebody. Yeah. You know, you have yeah. a stick in your hands. It's pretty yeah. easy. So right. you can understand the frustration of uh, Arizona in that game. And Donato personified what this team's trying to do. You know, just turn the other cheek. You know, stick up your teammates, but don't put the team uh, down in any way, shape, or form. And you know, part of that is uh, being able to do the same thing in the playoffs, where you just take a number, suck it up, and, you know, learn to battle another day. Speaking of playoffs, Mr. Tomlinson here, multi, multi-championships in the German League, the, yes. uh, the old Dell. Um, tell the folks a little bit about uh, what you were doing over there. Pretty successful. Yeah, um, went over to Germany after five years uh, in the NHL and AHL and IHL. And so wanted to play you know, some hockey where I was on the ice at the end of a hockey game. Make me feel like a <laughs> hockey player. And I did that over there with the Mannheim Eagles. Very successful German franchise. Um, we won the championship in 97, and then 98, and then 99, and then 01. Damn. Lost the final in 02. And, and, you, re- and you remember that more. Yeah. Uh, all the guys remember yeah. the games they lost or the series they lost other than the ones they won. It's funny that way, eh? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, the vic- victories, the easy ones to remember, and then uh, the ones that are, are tough to swallow are uh, you know, those championship games you lose. But uh, right. German hockey has really t- taken off. Like, my first year, Dennis Seidenberg was a rookie on our team, and then next thing you know, he's uh, in the NHL, and then Solid. he's playing for the Bruins, wins the Stanley Cup. So yep. now we're seeing, uh, like, guy like Tim Stutzla, right? Like, right. he played in the Mannheim system and is now uh, a hot shot in the NHL. So uh, German hockey is uh, getting better in the world stage. Yeah, I'm sure the folks probably heard of Leon Dreisaitl, and they've probably heard of the guy that's probably... How did I forget Dreisaitl? How they're probably going to... The man starting in net for the Kraken tonight, Philip Grubauer, is uh, also a German, so they're right. all over the... Spread. Gruby, Gruby's from Rosenheim. Um, Dreisaitl's dad, Peter, played in Mannheim as well. Nice. Uh, has been coaching uh, after he retired from hockey, and um, Leon Dreisaitl played in Mannheim. Like, Mannheim and uh, Ice Bear in East Berlin, they both have these feeder systems yep. for youth hockey and then um, formative hockey, and... So players don't have to automatically jump to like the Western Hockey League or college hockey. They can get some good hockey there. And then they're, they're turnkey pros playing against uh, guys like me who go over there and finish off their careers. Very, very nice. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ja, uh, natürlich. Uh-oh, I don't even know what he said, so I guess that's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy Boy, Dave Tomlinson, great job. Uh, we look forward. You're going to get a lot of people listening tonight for the potential clinch, so good on you. Have fun. Yeah, thank Have, you. Enjoy it's it. not going to be on local TV, so it'll yeah. be on uh, KGR. We're FM. I mean, you can get us anywhere. You can get us up in Vancouver if you're driving around the lower mainland as well. What? For you fans north of the border that want to hear playoff hockey, potentially Ooh. throw that out there. But um, jab, jab. looking forward to it. Yep. All right. There he is. Check him out. KGR with uh, Everett Fitzhugh. Oh, by the way, 7.30 game tonight. That's right. Uh, uh, For Dave, Simmer, Simmer's Morning Skate, SeattleHockeyInsider.com. 
I guess we'll see you tonight.